Hello, I'm sorry, I know it has been ages, um, like three years since I have uploaded a video. This week's video is going to be a little monthly May vlog about how I'm aiming to save money. Uh, so I guess you could call it minimal spend May. It's not no spend May. I don't believe in depriving yourself of wants altogether. I think that, you know, if I tried to not buy anything I wanted this month, i.e., you know, a latte or, or something, you know, a snack at a cafe, then I would just fail miserably. And say hello to my dog Poppy. She is new since I last did a video. So um, we got her from a rescue last year as a puppy and she's nearly two years old and she gets me out walking and gets me outside more, gets her whole family outside more, and we just absolutely love her. Uh, excuse the state of my office. I've been pulling things out of cupboards and trying to declutter, as I always am, because I live with a very messy family. So things that I've tried to do to save money recently, obviously interest rates are going up. So we've just refinanced our mortgage. We've just changed banks. It's only happened in the last couple of weeks. Trying to eat more at home and spend less at the supermarket. Even though I did groceries and errands this morning, I came back and had cereal for breakfast instead of buying a muffin at the cafe. And I'm having a cup of tea. Although it's kind of hard when your husband decides that he wants to cook steak and he goes to the butcher in the weekend and spends, I won't say how much because I don't want to embarrass him, a hideous amount on a big piece of steak that he sears and cooks whole and then slices up. It was beautiful, but it was a big chunk of our grocery budget. And I think I might actually try and challenge him to cook a nice dinner, but using only, um, like having to go out and buy only up to maybe $30 worth of groceries. And he does, he is competitive, he loves a challenge. So um, let's see how that goes. The dog food arrived and cat food. My cat has to, I have to order it online because it's special food for him. He's got kidney disease. And I ordered online because if I spent $150, Pet Barn gave me a $20 voucher. So I got $20 off because both food packages combined came to more than $150. Plus I went through the cash rewards app so I got an extra $3 in cash back to my cash back rewards account. I hemmed my own curtains last night. Um, the spotlight curtains, I used a no sew curtain hack that I saw on YouTube and I'll link that video below if you're interested. And it was a great hack. And rather than paying someone to hem my curtains or buying custom made curtains, which are really expensive, I got these curtains on sale at Spotlight, but they drag all over the floor and because I have a dog, she makes them very dirty when she kind of sits by the window or walks on the ends of my curtains. So I did that myself. So today I did get a coffee, but I used my rewards card. So if I buy, I think it's eight coffees with my regular cafe that I go to, I get the ninth coffee free, which is, fantastic coffee reward cards are actually one of the rewards cards that pay one of the biggest perks when you look at things like credit cards like we are in the process of moving our credit card over to the new bank so i went to cash out all of our rewards points on our previous credit card we spend thousands every month because we put everything on our credit card all the bills groceries everything and pay it off every month but we've spent thousands of dollars each year on our credit card and when i went to cash out the rewards i got like 500 dollars worth of vouchers i used them for like cole supermarket and kmart but that's like at least a couple of years worth of accumulating rewards so i don't um redeem my rewards very often and it was only like $500 worth. So when you compare that to buying eight coffees and you get the ninth one free, coffee reward cards are one of the best reward cards you can get when you look at other loyalty programs. Working from home today and it is cold, but I don't want to turn on the heater because one, electricity, and two, I feel like it makes my office room a bit stuffy and I just, I want to feel awake. If the room is too warm, I feel like I'm getting a bit sleepy. I've got lots of work to do today. I need to be on fire. So... <laughs> I've put my um, bathrobe on. I know, it seems silly. If you've got an Udi, I used to have an Udi and I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. The sleeves were too long. I felt like it was really bulky. 
so I sold it last year. Because it's cold, I've put Poppy's hoodie on as well. I've just gotten home from doing one of those research survey things and I've never done an in-person one where you're doing like product research. I can't give you the details because it, um, with a lot of these things you have to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, but it was around two to two and a half hours they said to allow. Probably took about that long and then with travel time probably took me between 20 to 30 minutes to get there and I'm not sure if it was worth it. I think it's good if you don't have to travel far or you don't have much on anyway. It was interesting to do it but I'm just not sure the time involved like with all the waiting in between and the travel time and I drove so petrol money and stuff like that. Was it worth it? It was about a hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't know. I'm using up stuff, even though I don't necessarily like it. I don't want to waste money by throwing it out. I could give it away, but I can't be bothered with that hassle. So I'm using up this tea. I'm not a huge fan of the chamomile, but I wanted a nice warm drink because it's starting to get cold. It's later in the afternoon. It's my way of having a healthy snack. I just think I need a bit of hydration. Sold a bundle of my son's books. It was the Treehouse series books. There were quite a, I think it was the full series and I sold them for $25. And then last week I sold a bundle of his uh, winter clothes from last year for $25 as well. So that's $50 I've made in the last, I don't know, 10 days. And then hopefully this weekend someone is picking up a portable soccer goal that I've got for sale and that would be another $20. I'm always looking for stuff in my home that I don't need anymore and trying to get rid of it and if I can sell it that's great otherwise I'll just list it for free or donate it. Curry tonight, all the frozen stuff, some old Wilton veggies and baby spinach which um, when it gets past its date or it's um, you know, starting to get a bit wilted I put it in the freezer. I use it up for things like curries, even bolognese, you know, soups, that kind of thing. It's frozen prawns, some zucchini, tomatoes, carrots, and cauliflower. Morning. I'm gonna get my groceries, and uh, today I'm gonna go to Coles Supermarket. I've got a Coles shopping voucher. It's about a $500 voucher. I've already spent a little bit of it, but you can't use it online. I was going to do an online shop last night because I'm a bit sick. I've got a cold. So I'm at the shop today so I can use my voucher because we have pretty much run out of food. So I'm going to go and get some stuff and it won't cost me a dime, which will be great. Just having my brunch, I guess you would call it now, which is porridge. It's just quick oats with a bit of milk, honey, oh, cinnamon, sprinkle of cinnamon, and I've added kiwi fruit for the boost of vitamin C because everyone's been sick. I bought raspberries on special today, so that'd be really nice too. So tonight I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup. I've got my stock because I'm not feeling well. I want to make it really easy. Uh, I've got corn kernels, I've got rice noodles, I've got chicken tenderloins because I cook real quick in the soup, carrot, celery, and hey, if you don't have rice noodles, if you're missing some ingredients, even the, um, you know, the noodles that come in the two minute noodle packets, if that's all that you've got, throw that in or throw some rice in, rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, pre-cooked chicken from the supermarket, whatever you've got. Just making a cup of tea, I only ever buy my tea bags on special in the big boxes and I decant it into here. This is my tea and coffee drawer. It's green tea. That's my husband's instant coffee for when he runs out of coffee pods. These are the coffee pods we use. Urban Brew, they're compostable too. Now, they're great and they're a lot cheaper even than the Nespresso pods, even though I love Nespresso pods and I don't feel guilty throwing them in the bin. I bought some cup of soup on special at the supermarket today with my big coal shop. But we have these Audi ones, so and these are older. So uh, what I do is stuff that needs to be used up first. I put it on the kitchen bench or somewhere prominent so that my husband will know when he goes make himself a cup of soup with a bread roll for lunch, for example. He used to use these first, not what's in the drawer. And like on the bottom, I'll put the older fruit on the bottom so my kids can reach that first, and then we'll put the fresh fruit at the top. It just makes sure there's minimal wastage and you're eating stuff when it's still fairly nice. Making school lunches and I've got these muffins that I baked. Oh, that I froze. Can't get the lid off. And 
in the lunch boxes. Apple muffins, it's a Nigella Lawson recipe. And it saves me, you know, buying heaps of um, store-bought snacks, but also it's a way to use up the apples when they weren't so crisp and nice to eat raw. Ah, finally, bedtime, relax time. At the moment, I've been watching a lot of free to air TV. Um, I recently has cancelled one of our subscription streaming services. I cancelled Disney Plus, even though I like Disney Plus. There's a few things on there that I like to watch, but no one else in my family, apart from the old Marvel movie, likes to watch it. They all like to watch Netflix. And we've also got Amazon Prime, so I was like, I need to cancel at least one of them. And Disney Plus was coming up for renewal, and so I just didn't continue it. I've been watching, or well, mainly I watch YouTube, because I watch a lot of other YouTubers. And lately I've been watching Alone on SBS. I basically binge watched a few episodes and now I'm waiting for it to conclude and I can't wait to find out who wins. Even on like ABC Kids there's a great show my friend told me about called Teenage Boss for kids to take over the family budget for a month. If you can hear that that's my daughter <laughs> singing in the background she's just finishing her bath and I, I actually don't mind sitting through the ads sometimes you're just like okay ad time time to put on a cup of tea or toilet break yeah it's fine and you can pause it you can still watch things on demand, things like that. So that's one way to save. Cancel streaming services for a while, even just for a month, and see if you really miss it that much. There's plenty to watch, even on YouTube. Like if you're supervising your kids, sometimes we like to watch funny things on YouTube together. And yeah, it's fun and um, free. Today, I want to go fill up my car with petrol. I've still got about two thirds of a tank left, but I've noticed that the petrol price is pretty low compared to what it normally is. I'm not averse to filling up just a part tank. Um, and I also do that if I desperately need petrol, but I feel like it's really expensive. I only fill up with like 15, maybe $20 worth of petrol and then wait till the price goes down again. I have an app on my phone called Petrol Spy, which helps me look at what the petrol prices are in the area and compare them and sometimes if I'm driving through a suburb you know that's not usually um, when I drive through and I notice on the app that the petrol price is lower I'll stop and fill up. In the weekend we went to a school fair it wasn't our school but I noticed it advertised on Facebook that school fair was happening and then there was also on the North Shore where I live, there was the St. Ives Fair. And the St. Ives Fair is more of a carnival, so it's got all the, the carnival rides and things, which can get very expensive. And I decided I was only gonna take my daughter and I was gonna meet up with a friend. We actually decided that instead of going to the St. Ives Fair, we'd go to the smaller school fair. It ended up really economical. I didn't end up even buying any food. We took our own water. Should have taken some snacks because my daughter was a little bit peckish. They had things like curries and sushi and she doesn't eat any of that stuff. So we didn't end up actually spending any money on food, but we spent $20 on tokens for like um, activities to do at the school fair. We did some crafts, we did a pony ride. They had the usual games like, um, they had like dunking and a coconut shy and archery and things like that. She made a candle, we made a flower crown. On total, I only spent $20 on the tokens and it was supporting a school community. And we had lots of fun. And then I had to go home and meet a dog and its owners because I do pet sitting sometimes. It's like a little side hustle of mine and I really only do it on weekends and school holidays but I really enjoy pet sitting and it's my way of being able to have a second dog when I'm not so busy without the expense of a second dog and a bonus I actually get paid for looking after people's dogs. If you can find little side hustles that you can do, things that you actually enjoy though, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, then that can help give your income a bit of a boost and give you some extra money to help pay bills or entertainment money or whatever you need to spend your money on. And just because you're being frugal doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get takeaways or that you can't eat out. You just need to be a bit more mindful of how much you're spending. So sometimes we'll get Thai takeaway, not very often because that can be a bit more expensive, but we'll put our own rice in the rice cooker. We won't order entrees. And the other night we went to a pub where kids eat free on Sunday. So we only had to pay for 
my husband and my main meals and then with each adult meal you got a free kids meal yay the soccer goal sold in the weekend too so that was twenty dollars and i spent that at the school fair <laughs> but you know it all contributes it all helps it all adds up Okay, so it is Tuesday the 30th of May. I went and had coffee after school drop off and then I went to Woolworths. Uh, my friend has just given me, my friend that I met for coffee, Adriana, thank you, gave me this wonderful recipe for this meatball noodle spinach soup. I actually had most of the ingredients in the cupboard already, so all I had to buy from Woolies after coffee was the noodles and the meatballs. So that's all good, I'm gonna make that tonight. We did have one big, unexpected expense it was kind of an impulse buy on the weekend i think i may have failed minimal spend may because that's been around a two thousand dollar outlay with some extras so i may have kind of failed 